okay so now we have seen that uh, how we can add these terms now when we are using free tagging mechanism people will continue to add their terms and they will get populated into our vocabulary but what happens with the terms like list of countries like here this list which i have right now is you can see 193 entries are there so doing it one by one is going to be a cumbersome task another list which i have is a list of animals suppose we wanted to create a vocabulary for that then this is 521 we can't do that one by one we have seen that the interface which is there for taxonomy like if i go to list of countries fine and if i say add term this is going to do it one by one so what i did was is that i have looked up a module that is called as taxonomy manager fine uh, this allows us to do a lot of things with this and one of the thing that you can do with taxonomy over here is that you will be able to import multiple values into your list this module basically also depends on something called as jquery ui which is not mentioned over here interestingly fine anyways so let's go to this i have already copied my modules i just need to enable them so taxonomy manager and i will have to enable my jquery ui from the extend section let's say install okay so now these two modules are enabled and if you want to know something about the module you can just go to the taxonomy module and click on configure or go to its help so let's go to configure and here there is a disable mouse over effects page count something is there so let's save this configuration so let's go to structure and here we have this taxonomy manager another interface has come up so let's go to list of countries let's see here there are two lists so we'll click on add and here it says that i can add list like this and there are few other interesting ways if you want a parent child relationship on the list you can this thing and here is the create the terms in order provided in the list so let's click on that and let's go to countries and uh, let's see first two i will leave and i will copy the remaining one okay and let's add these things so now it says this is done now we have this list you can go to the structure and your normal taxonomy thing and here also you can see the list is there okay so now i've populated this list using the module another one and let's try to go to content now here in content we had added it in this learning drupal thing or the content type book and now let's try this see what happens is over here I will remove this and I will change it to let us say here I N D I India fine here it will take up India then another this thing coming up which probably I was trying out so just ignore this so here the taxonomy term India is added now here what you might have noticed is that when i am typing i it gives me a list of all the countries that are starting with i so i want that it should only search which are starting with i or the starting characters this we can set in the structure let's go to content type book info and let's go to manage field in manage field let me first remove this this i don't need let me just delete it okay so here go to manage form display how it is displayed on the form and over here you will get a setting for 
country of origin this is auto complete fine here you can set now you can set the list to auto complete checkbox auto complete tag style select list and so on select list is going to be way too big let's just see oh, what is the this thing checkboxes radio button is going to be really huge because it's a very huge list but let's still try this out and uh, let's go to this content and learn in drupal let's edit this now let's see what has happened now you see if you set it to checkbox or something this is going to happen this is not suitable for a very huge list checkbox is good enough if you have only four five or maximum 10 entries so let's again go back to this and country of origin let's set to autocomplete as the default one now autocomplete tag style let's see what it does let's save this and let's reload this editing again fine now let's see what happens no, now again it's the same one auto complete tag style is the same thing we'll leave this and let's go back to the finally the one which we are looking for is either a select list over here fine select list will give you a drop down list so this you can do select list from here fine let's reload this and see what happens so here the select li list will come up again the select list could be really huge in this case fine searching there so you can decide whether you want to go for select list or something else i will leave it to auto complete and in auto complete the thing i wanted to change was this starts with fine i want it to be starts with number of results you can set how many you want so i will leave it as like 100 whatever are there size of the text field and so on let's update this and now i will save this so in this way what's going to happen is my taxonomy field will come up in a different manner so when i say i it will list me the countries which are starting with i n only two of them will pop so this way you can create a taxonomy this is for the single one and other way around you can do is the free tagging where people can continuously add that taxonomy.